I'm Andy Webster, head teacher at Parkview School. These are very unusual times, and whereas normally we would have welcomed you on site a few times before now in preparation for you joining us in September, unfortunately, due to the COVID situation, we're not able to do that. But what we did want to do is give you a very real flavour of what it's like to be a part of you people when you join us in the new academic year. It's important to us that you feel welcome, that you understand what to expect, and also that you encounter some of your teachers who you will meet when you begin your part of your journey in September 2020. This video will enable you to see some of the departments, the areas, and some of the teams who will be supporting you when you join us. Hi S7, my name is Ali and I'm the Head of Computing and IT here at Parkview. We're so excited to meet you all in September. The Year 7 curriculum is very exciting. You're going to learn how to use loads of new pieces of software, you're going to learn how to build your very own game, you're going to build your programming skills, your algorithmic thinking skills, and your problem solving skills. Skills you'll need in the future. We're so excited to meet you. For me upstairs, this is the PSHE department. Welcome to the PSHCE and RS department. Yes, we do take up nearly a third of the letters of the alphabet, but that's because we explore a wide range of interesting and engaging topics. PSHCE and RS stands for Personal, Social, Health, Citizenship, Economic, Education, and RS is for Religious Studies. For you to discover more about these topics, I'd like to introduce you to two of our current Year 7 students. At Parkview Year 7, we have three lessons a fortnight. In these lessons, we look at the current world and its history to explain why the world is, is like it is today. We also look at things like religion, mindfulness and the environment. We explore our beliefs and those of others through debates, which I enjoy. We do work in groups with partners and individually, we, and we always get a chance to express our views. PSHE is an extremely welcoming and fun lesson. While in other lessons like maths and science, many things have specific answers, and your answers will be answered wrong if you do not answer with that specific answer. PSHE and RS is the complete opposite of that. Your answers can neither be right or wrong because PSHE and RS is about di different people's perspective, giving you a chance to express yourself and what you believe in. Here, you'll learn about real-life problems and questions and discussing what you think about them. And no one's ideas are disrespected. You'll learn about philosophical questions, religions, how people from different religions or none would react to things. We look forward to welcoming you into our school. I'm Mr Sack, Head of PE at Parkview School. I hope you and your families are safe and well during this time. Now to meet some of the PE staff who may be teaching you in September. 
Mr. Ferrari, are you ready? Right. Thanks, Mr. Sack. Mr. Ferrari here. Uh, I've won football and rugby at Parkview. Look forward to seeing you in September. Hi, I'm Miss Heath and I teach PE at Parkview. I teach girls PE and netball and grounders. I'm also head of house Maple. I really look forward to teaching you next year. Thanks Miss Heath and Mr Ferrari. I hope you're all keeping active during the school closures. The PE department, really looking forward to seeing you in September. Take care, all the best. Hello Year 7, my name is Miss Malcolm and I am the Head of Dance at Parkview and I will be your new dance teacher. Your dance lessons will be taught through the P curriculum. This means that you will have one hour of dance per week for half a term and then you will revisit it in Year 8 and Year 9. We also have a wonderful extracurricular dance programme where you can take a range of different dance classes throughout the week at lunchtime and after school. Last year, the dancers had the wonderful opportunity to go all the way to South Africa on tour. This cultural exchange was a life-changing experience for the dancers. Throughout Year 7, you will also have the opportunity to take part in dance workshops taught by our ex-students. We also take part in community dance projects where the students go out into the community taking part in performances in and around the borough. I'm really looking forward to meeting you and getting to know you Year 7. Let's make this year the best year ever. Welcome to Parkview's house system. What is house? Everyone at Parkview is part of one of four houses, oak, cedar, maple or elm. It's a chance for you to be part of our Parkview community and of course to celebrate and recognise all of the amazing things you do throughout the year. Not to mention an opportunity to take part in lots of fun and healthy competition. Let's meet our heads of houses. Mr Ferrari, Miss Heath and Miss Armet are the heads of oak, maple and elm. Cedar is yet to be announced, so watch this space. One of the most important parts of our house system is the fact that we're connected to four local charities. These charities do amazing work in Harringay and we're really proud to be able to raise money for them and contribute to our local community. How can you earn house points? Just by taking part in any house activity or competition will get you points. And of course, if you win, you'll get lots more. Taking part in the weekly house quiz or extracurricular activities will also get you points. And finally, by being a fantastic Parkview learner and earning achievement points in your lessons every single day will also contribute to house points total too. What have we done this year? We've taken part in the charity day, the pancake races, the spelling bee and so much more. There are loads of opportunities for you to get involved in the house system at Parkview. At the end of the year, once all the points have been added up, the winning house will not only win the prestigious House Cup, but a day of celebrations to remember. If you get to part view in September, you can take part in all of these things and you can also sign up to be a house rep. We look forward to meeting you when you get here. Thanks for listening. Hello Year 6, my name is Miss Darnell and I'm the Head of Performing Arts at Parkview School. I'm going to talk to you about what we offer at Parkview in our drama programme for Year 7s. From September, you'll have drama once a week for one hour per week. And in that time, you will learn lots of really, really valuable skills, such as working as a team, gaining confidence, 
how to create a character, and how to perform on stage. And we'll also play lots of drama games in our drama lessons and hopefully have lots of fun and even make some new friends. Across the year, we will study lots of different things. We'll look at Greek theatre, which is where theatre began. We will look at Shakespeare, we'll look at physical theatre, and we'll even look at physical comedy called Commedia dell'arte. It's a really, really exciting course and I can't wait to have you join us and to have you hopefully enjoy your lessons just as much as me. We'll also be offering drama clubs and there will be a school production as well. So please, please do look out for all those things being announced in the coming year. This is one of our music classrooms. Six. My name is Miss Willis, I'm Head of Music at Parkview and this is what it's going to be like to study music. We have one hour long lesson every week in which we do a mixture of performing, composing, theory and listening. We study a big range of topics from cartoon music to samba and we use a whole range of different instruments including keyboards, drums, map books and our voices. In terms of extracurricular activities we've got loads of exciting clubs on at lunch, break and after school. We also offer free one-to-one -one instrumental lessons. We have concerts every term, and we have a school musical. This year, it was Hairspray. Let's have a listen to what some of our current students think. In music, we learn about how to express emotion through song. We also learn about program music or depicting stories and pictures through instruments, pitch and tempo. One piece we looked at was Peter and the Wolf, where a little boy wants to kill a wolf who is scaring the villagers. Music is good because when I first started, I was nervous, but after I got more confident. In Year 7, we learn how to write music and learn about samba, which is a type of drumming. Welcome to Design and Technology and Art Department. Art Design Technology. My name is Miss Masson and I'm in charge of the faculty. Uh, I just wanted to introduce myself and then show you some little bits and pieces that we make. Uh, for example, here is a metal pewter keyring that you'll be making one of your first year seven projects. We've got loads of design technology rooms with loads of different pieces of equipment in. We also have sewing projects and other bits like this, crazy bug projects. And then we also have a laser cutter where we get to design our own clocks um, based on your own ideas. Thank you and I hope to see you in September.
Here at Parkview, we realise that literacy is one of the most important skills that a pupil will need. We also realise that it's important to make sure that any issues with literacy are tackled as early as possible. So, we monitor pupils' reading and reading ages. And if we think that someone needs extra help, we can put measures in place, such as extra reading groups. Uh, we use a programme called Core 5, which is a literacy boosting software. We also have something called booster groups in Year 7, which are like English lessons, but smaller, more concentrated, more heavily focused on literacy. So that when they leave Year 7 to go into Year 8, the gap has been closed. Welcome to English at Parkview School, where we have an exciting and fun curriculum designed to help students develop the skills they need throughout their secondary school career. We start the year off by reading a fantastic novel, Holes, the story of Stanley Yelnats, who is wrongly accused and sentenced for stealing a pair of trainers. We then move on to The Tempest by William Shakespeare, a play about magic, betrayal, love and forgiveness. In Unit 3, we develop our creative writing skills inspired by a classic adventure novel, The Lord of the Flies. In Unit 4, we explore the history of London through a range of non-fiction texts. We explore important historical events such as the Blitz, the 2012 Olympic Games and the 2020 VE Day celebrations. In our final unit of the year, Freedom Writers, we explore the criminal justice system around the world. We look at prison conditions and racial profiling. In addition to this, students also have the opportunity to freely discuss and question important concepts in society and around the world through our Philosophy for Children lessons. These discussions are student-led, free-form and develop group discussion, questioning and reasoning skills. My name is Ms Hoyle and I'm Head of Languages here at Parkview School. I'm going to take you through some of the things that you can expect when you join us. First of all, at Parkview, we offer you the choice of studying French or Spanish, two of the most in-demand and culturally rich languages in the world. If you are already a fluent speaker of French or Spanish, we recommend that you choose the opposite language so that you can continue becoming a truly multilingual learner. At Parkview, you will have three languages lessons per cycle. And here are some of the key skills that we aim to teach you throughout year seven. We hope that by the time you go into year eight, you will be a confident speaker, writer, listener, and reader in the language that you've chosen to study. We also hope that you can communicate strong opinions and reasons for those opinions about topics that you care about. Here are the topics that we will look at in year seven. In the autumn term, we look at the topic all about me, which looks at exploring what really makes you, you. We then move on to talk about friendships and relationships. In the spring term, we look at the topic of school and education, such as what subjects you really enjoy and why, what your future career options could be, and what your opinions are of education in general. Then in summer term, we look at the topic of free time and hobbies, where we explore things like cinema and television from Spain and Latin America and France and French speaking countries. We look at music from a variety of different French and Spanish speaking countries and comparing and contrasting with music that you enjoy. We also look at things like sports, art and other hobbies that you may have. We really hope that you've enjoyed listening. Thank you so much. And we're really looking forward to welcoming you soon. This is the science department. Let's go take a look at one of our labs.
Hi Seven, I'm Miss Savage and we're from Parkview School and I'm the Head of Science. Me and the rest of the team are really excited to meet you. Um, I just want to do a quick overview of what you cover in Year 7. You start off the year with a topic called Working Scientifically. This unit prepares you to think, speak and write like a scientist. Later on you cover a series of biology, chemistry and physics units of work. Hope you have a fantastic summer and we are all really excited to see you. My name's Miss Hindle and I'm the Head of Maths at Parkview. I'm just going to briefly talk you through how we structure our lessons in maths and, and what kind of things your children can expect to see in a maths lesson. So um, pupils complete, complete two units of work each half term. At the start of a unit of work pupils complete a mini assessment task and this enables them to identify their start point on the progress map. Pupils are taught in mixed attainment classes so each lesson pupils choose a task to work on with guidance from their teacher. The tasks they select enable them to make progress along their progress map. All pupils have access to the full range of tasks as we believe that it is important to enable all pupils to learn without limits. Alongside mathematical skills pupils are taught to reason mathematically and solve problems. At the end of each unit of work, pupils complete an assessment task to check that they have made progress and to identify the next steps in their learning. Progress maps are uploaded to show my homework. For homework, pupils should choose a minimum of one Hegarty Maths task to work on each week based upon where they are on their progress map. So for example, if you see the letters HM and then a number next to it, that means Hegarty Maths task 328 for example. And this is what a progress map looks like. So it describes the different content that as a class we will cover within a unit of work. Because they are mixed attainment classes, not all children will be working on the same thing. So some children may need to start at the first part of the progress map. Other students may start further along. And some students with lots of prior knowledge of the unit may start close towards the end of the progress map and be learning the skills that they need to learn to make progress. The progress map shows students the content that we will cover within a unit of work, but across all of the topics in Year 7, students will be learning mathematical skills. These are the skills that it is required to be a mathematician, and those are to make connections, formalise, formalise knowledge, conjecture, interpret, select appropriate concepts, methods and techniques, and explore. We very much look forward to welcoming your students to Parkview School. Thank you. What a time to be studying history. Here are just a few questions we'll think about in year seven at Parkview. What are these three women talking about? What did these students from the 1970s think about our school? Ouch, that's my eye. Sorry, that one's not a question. Why was the Black Death so devastating? Why were 150 Jewish people massacred in York in 1190? Why did people in the 1600s think a bottle of urine and nails could help keep witches away? Did John Blank, Henry VIII's black trumpeter, succeed in getting a pay rise from the king? And that's just year seven. Here at Parkview in history, we're passionate about delivering a diverse and rich history and we really really look forward to meeting you in September. Welcome Year 6 to Geography at Parkview School. In the next 60 seconds I will give you a whistle stop tour on the topics you will cover. But first I want to introduce the fantastic Geography team. Myself, Miss Stavros, Miss Ahmed and Miss Nicola. We are all super excited to meet you. As geographers, you will study a range of human and physical topics, starting with an introduction to geography, where we will consider what makes a great geographer, as well as cover key skills like map reading. Across the year, you will cover the following topics. Tropical rainforest, to answer the question, are they still the lungs of the world? The causes and impacts of climate change, 
flooding to consider whether it's the biggest threat to cities and the development gap and how it can be reduced. Once again, we look forward to meeting you soon. This is the Year 7 playground where you guys will be hanging out. This is our Eden project. We can come up here on lunchtime and plant stuff or help with the garden. Some of the things we've got in here are things like cucumbers, peppers, strawberries. We also have a chicken coop and newborn chicks which were born a couple weeks ago so they've all grown up now. Hello everyone, I've exactly one minute to explain to you what we do as a team for you the students. Now, my name is Mr Williams and I am the manager of a team of dedicated professionals who are there to support you with your behaviour for learning. Now some students may find schools challenging for a range of reasons and this is where the school understands and we understand and because of this we have certain things put in place. One of the things is we work very closely with the students with one-to-one -one mentoring. The other thing is, which is a fantastic addition, is the group sessions. Now the group sessions that we run at the moment, which have been brilliant and informative and insightful and fun for the students, have been girls groups, anger management groups and social skills. We want to expand our practice. There's more to give. So we're going to be running sports, cooking, arts and craft and drama mentoring sessions. Yes, because in these sessions, you will be having fun while learning, they'll be informative. And in addition to that, and the most important thing is you'll be learning certain key skills, not just for now, but for the rest of your life. So from my team and I, we look forward to working with you very, very soon. And in the meantime, please take care and stay safe. Bye-bye. Hi, my name is Miss Aydemir. I'm the Social and Emotional Wellbeing Manager for the school. I manage the school counselling service and all the external services that come on site to support our students with um, emotional wellbeing. You can find me on the ground floor at G26. Hello Year 6s, can you believe it? You're going to be Year 7 soon. My name is Miss Sobers, I'm the Safeguarding Manager located in G20, which is ground floor G20. I am here to safeguard you and your family and look after your well-being. Even though we are still in lockdown like yourselves, I'm working behind the scenes. So even if you, you need some support now, contact Parkview School. We're here to help you and your families. Take care, can't wait to see you. Bye. Hello Year 6. My name is Mrs Mock and I'm part of the Special Educational Needs team at Parkview School. My team work very closely with all of our young people. We're in lessons, helping you with your learning and we run small group interventions for students who maybe are finding something a little bit difficult. So whether that's handwriting, whether it's literacy, numeracy or simply you need some time working on how to make some new friends we are the team that will support you. We run lunchtime and break time clubs. We have a great time playing board games, computer games, but also helping out with any homework or difficulties you may have. We work ever so closely with your families and with your teachers so that we can make sure they understand what helps you to learn best. Our priority is helping you to flourish and make fantastic progress with your learning while you're here. There's no place for bullying at Parkview, which is why we make anti-bullying work a priority. 
We have a dedicated team called the Be Safe team, made up of students and a dedicated member of staff who help support students who've been involved in potential bullying incidents and more importantly, do work across the year to prevent bullying, focusing on promoting kindness and diversity and also supporting students with social skills and providing mentoring when necessary. We work with the Diana Award, um, a charity set up in memory of Princess Diana, to run these projects and work towards badges, including cyber safety and well-being, um, through the projects that we run in school, which is a really amazing thing for Year 7s to get involved in, um, and they can be part of the Be Safe team from Year 7 through to Year 11 if they wish, um, and increasingly can become more senior in the Be Safe team, and also have those badges to show for their hard work. Park views year council. You are elected by your form class to represent them and each year group has their own year council. A few times a year, all student leaders collaborate on the things they find important. There are opportunities to get involved with campaigns and help fundraise for different causes your year group are interested in. These campaigns bring the whole school together and raise awareness for important causes. As leaders of the school, during the year, you'll be rewarded for your hard work. My name is Miss Teske and I'm part of the inclusion team. We provide support to students who are learning English as an additional language, students who need to improve their English so that they can achieve their best in all subjects. For example, we offer an intensive induction program for students who are new to English to accelerate their English language progress so that they don't fall behind in their studies. For those who never went to school before arriving at Parkview, or for those who have gaps in their previous education, we offer one-to-one -one and small group literacy, numeracy and mentoring to ensure they understand the new schooling system and settle in successfully. We also offer extra English, maths and science small group intervention to students who are finding these key subjects hard because of being at early stages of English. We have a large, experienced team who speak various languages and who support our students in their lessons too. We are also here to help our staff, parents and wider community through translations and interpreting during meetings, parents' evenings, phone calls home and so on. Speaking of parents, we are proud to be offering free Entry 1, 2 and 3 ESOL courses to those who are learning English as an additional language. Our extracurricular offer is wide and fun and designed not only to help Help improve our students' English, but also to help them access the work from across subjects. It includes clubs such as reading, homework, boxing, art and crafts, as well as educational trips to various cultural destinations aimed to help them understand and learn about British culture and values. We look forward to welcoming you to our Parkview family. See you soon! Hello Year 7s, I want to say a massive welcome to you. You're going to be starting Park U in the next few weeks. And as you're leaving from Year 6 and becoming into Year 7, I just want you to know that everyone here is excited about you coming. I hope that you've enjoyed the video and you're looking forward to all the amazing things that you're going to be doing in Park U. And as you're ahead of year, I just want to let you know, you are going to have an amazing time here. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. Enjoy your summer and I look forward to seeing you soon. We hope you enjoyed our tour around the school and we can't wait to see you guys in September.